Hello and welcome to Applying Accounting Format to Pivot Table Data, exercise number seven from the Excel Custom Classroom Training Advanced Level Training Manual, brought to you by Shift Key Solutions and I am Eric Ripley. Okay, welcome back. This is the continuation to the last video tutorial in creating a pivot table. Now we want to format the data within it. So what I want to do in this is a really quick video tutorial. As long as I have an active cell somewhere in my pivot table, I'm going to come over to my values box and click the sum of extended price. And then I'm going to click the value field settings. My dialog box opens up here. And then I'll from there I want to click on number format. And then simply come down to accounting. Right now it's at general. Simply put, I'm going to go to accounting, make sure that I have two decimals, and here's my sample. This sample is in direct relation to the cell I have active, as you can see. Now, I'm going to make sure I have two decimal places, click OK, and then click OK again, and then voila. Pretty simple, nothing too fancy and crazy about it. Now, I have had students in the past say, well, why can't I just have something selected and come to my home tab and then in the numbers group choose one of these formats well there's no reason you can't do that in fact for this type of report it may be a good idea to have this range as a comma style and then have the totals column and the totals row as dollar styles or accounting styles if that's the case I have it selected already I'm gonna come up to my number numbers group and just click comma there it is this might be more appropriate for what you'd like to have. Some people just simply do not like the accounting style. If you'd rather have the currency style, and if we remind ourselves, what are the differences between currency format and accounting format? Think about that for a second. It's real easy. The accounting format gives what's called a hard left dollar sign, meaning that the dollar sign is always on the far left. The currency format gives what's called a floating dollar sign. It hugs the numbers, as we'll see here in a moment. I'm going to change this to currency. Bam. Look at that. That's kind of neat, huh? Now, if you're an accountant, or I should say most accountants, just simply do not like this. But that doesn't mean you can't have it. So anyway, that's my demonstration on applying the accounting format. That's all the time I have for this video tutorial. Thanks for joining me. And if you didn't know how to do this beforehand, now you know. And I encourage you to share this with that might need help with this. Thanks, and don't forget to comment.